The challenges cattlemen face these days are growing. It's important to have an organization like the National Cattlemen's Beef Association to ensure our voices are being heard. Let's head to western Colorado where we meet one cattleman who's balancing not only the daily duties on his operation, but also his duties as a full-time employee at NCBA. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has the story. I think I've got the bug of ranching, that's for sure. Uh, it's uh, definitely kind of a family legacy and something I hope to continue. Dan McCarty's family began ranching in 1874 on the eastern plains of Colorado. After graduating from Colorado State University, Dan worked numerous cattle industry jobs before starting his own operation in 2007. I grew up in uh, Colorado uh, in a family ranching operation, uh, primarily uh, purebred seed stock. However, our roots in Colorado go back quite a ways. We raise purebred gelby and, and balancer cattle, and we try and raise and sell 10 to 15 purebred bulls a year, and uh, we also try and sell 10 to 15 uh, bred females a year. The McCarty Cattle Company sits in the Colorado River Valley and features some of the best views the state has to offer. But those views come at a price. We're at about 6,000 feet right now. Our yearling heifers uh, run up around Marble, Colorado on a pasture that's about 9,000 feet. So the altitude is something that we have to take into effect when we make genetic selection. As you can see from a lot of the land here, there's not really any flat spots, so that creates some challenges when you're trying to do stuff in the winter. It gets a little slippery. Dan's wife Morgan lends a helpful hand through her veterinary practice. As a licensed vet, she takes care of the majority of health concerns on the ranch and uses the latest technology to keep the herd healthy. She's a, one of those rare large animal exclusive veterinarians, so she only works on cows and horses pretty much. And, and she just we have a mobile practice, so she works out of her truck. And we've had it going about three years now, and we, we've had a really good response. And uh, it's provided a real service to the, to the cattlemen here in the local area. This was our, our small group of older cows here, and it's the time of year we need to pregnancy check them and give them all their vaccinations. So we just gathered them up and brought them down here to the corrals and ran them through. And, uh, it's kind of nice having a full-time veterinarian on staff because we get to use some different technologies with our cattle. We, we do AI quite a bit of our cows and uh, we utilize ultrasounding for pregnancy evaluation. And uh, sometimes if we, we can get them to the corral in the right time, we utilize uh, ultrasounding to um, sex the pregnancy so we can market a, a bull or a heifer pregnancy. So it's kind of nice to be able to uh, have those things available to me with the, my wife being a vet and uh, also somebody that you know knows what vaccinations we need to be using, what protocols and that sort of thing. So. Dan brings his ranching expertise to NCBA through his position as Associate Director of the Livestock Marketing Council and Field Services. The position requires him to travel, but luckily Dan has a strong support system that helps with the regular ranching chores while he's away. Yeah, it's kind of two and a half full-time jobs, absolutely. My job at NCBA as with field services and the Livestock Marketing Council requires me to travel quite a bit. So I'm on the road uh, usually a couple hundred days a year at least. And I'm usually traveling to one of the western states, meeting with, uh, with our producers and our NCBA members in the western states, uh, working with our western state associations and our uh, affiliates in NCBA. And luckily I have a, a good family at home and lots of good friends that can help us uh, do these sort of things, running the cows and keeping track of things at home. Traveling gives Dan the opportunity to talk to local producers one-on-one -on -one about the challenges they face, as well as the importance of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. I enjoy being able to go out with our producers and kind of talk shop with them and that sort of thing. And, and lots of times it's kind of a natural conversation, easy for me to talk to them because you know, I know what's going on with them this time of year and that sort of thing. And I know sometimes it's intimidating to call somebody you don't know back in Washington, D.C. or in our office in Denver. And uh, I, I can be that direct link and, and uh, am more than happy to visit with anybody. Providing that personal link to producers is a top priority for the association. Part of this link comes from the volunteer leadership at NCBA that has chosen to serve the industry both on and off the ranch. There's a lot of producers out there that maybe have a little more time than the others who are really involved. Uh, our leadership is examples of those type of people that are really passionate about our industry and have found the time to go ahead and volunteer and, and make sure those connections in D.C. are strong and what we're doing is the right thing. It's important for cattlemen to be involved in associations on all levels, including the local, state, and national, because what those associations deal with are, are different type issues. 
luckily, uh, an organization like NCBA, all those people can be involved one way or another. So, you know, even if you don't have the time to do that, you can still pay your dues and make sure that your voice is being heard. But at least take the time to, to contact our leaders, uh, our volunteer leaders in NCBA, and make sure that uh, they hear your voice and that they're working on your behalf. NCBA members decide how issues facing cattlemen in the beef industry should be addressed, and the staff in Washington, D.C. is standing by to make sure their voices are heard. We have a tremendous team of, and staff back in Washington, D.C. that's really working on your behalf every single day of the year. Uh, they're addressing all the problems that you might not even know about uh, challenges that are coming down the line. The other thing that NCBA provides is uh, great educational and networking opportunities for producers and especially at our national convention uh, you can go and see all the latest technology uh, get up to date on the latest educational and research things that are going on in the industry and it's also just a great place to go meet other cattlemen and visit about what's going on in the industry there are many issues facing cattlemen today but dan mccarty and the folks at ncba are making sure cattlemen across the country are educated about what they can do well, we all think that we have our own problems, but a lot of the times when I sit down with my friends from Florida or Texas, we're all facing a lot of the same problems. We have a lot more in common than we don't, and we should all be in this fight together. I think we have a pretty bright future. From the McCarty Cattle Company in Rifle, Colorado, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Getting involved is the most important thing you can do to make sure your voice is heard. Join Dan as a member of NCBA by calling us at 1-866-USA-BEEF or visiting us online at beefusa.org.